unknown to even the mightiest of the great sorcerer kings. A fire is stirring deep beneath the barren soil of Athos, sheltered by the titanic bulk of the Black Spine Mountains. A terrible force has ripped open the very fabric of time and space. Now a shimmering portal stands open and a long forgotten enemy assembles its sinister forces to invade the kingdoms under the dark sun. The only thing that stands in the way of this terrible fate is a band of heroes assembled from the four corners of this tortured world and bound together by the tangled cords of fate. They must face an enemy the likes of which they have never seen before. The odds are against them. But they dare not fail. The fate of the world is in their hands. So today I'm going to review Black Spine, a Dark Sun adventure for four to six characters of 10th to 13th level. Uh, this is for second edition Advanced Dungeons and Dragons in the Dark Sun world. So takes place in this area near the city-state of Nibine in the Black Spine Mountains here. And it comes with three books, so I'm going to break this up because that's just too many. It's too much material. And when I bought this, the clerk at the store spoiled for me what this is a picture of. I almost took it back. Because, as I said in one of my earlier reviews, these second edition modules were really, really railroady. So railroady that I could read them like a novel, and that's what I had planned to do with this one. And he's spoiled the ending. So, alright, so it starts off like many Dark Sun adventures in the desert. And in the desert. In this area, you meet a group of runaway slaves, like a whole army of runaway slaves, and they're all highly skilled at something or other. So, you know, they, they could be very useful to you as followers if you get their loyalty. But they could also easily fall victim to... A better an army that's trained in better things than baking and carpentry. You know, there's a one's a gladiator that the leader Tim Pogue is a gladiator, but the others you know like carpenter, wise woman, poet. So they have this camp near an abandoned temple, and so it tells you what else in this temple they've they've set up little tents inside the temple because it's and the prop so here's a floor plan of the temple showing they've got tents and the it you know it's railroady so the leader will not allow you to search the temple he's afraid of spirits and afraid of traps But there's a problem in that there's a tribe of Gith that are threatening to re-enslave them. Uh, for those of you who don't know, in Dark Sun, the Gith have been, since Dark Sun is cut off from the astral plane, the Githyanki have been trapped on Athos and become savage warriors known as the Gith. They're psionic warriors. You gotta have psionics and they're warriors and they're ugly. Right, tell us. So they, so this slave council is debating what do we do? The get they're coming to get us, and the get some spies in, and so they send the players to scout. And here's the get camp. And eventually, you have to use the battle system rules because there's a battle. And so it gives you information on the battle and what all to do. Uh, th I think there was a second edition version of the battle system out. But you have a battle with the gift. And, you know, show how railroady this is. 
Even with the best preparations, the PCs are unlikely to lead the tribe to victory in this battle. If the battle were with the Hand and I alone, they might have a chance, but with the rune, they are overmatched. Hand, I, and rune are tribes of gift. At some point, the PCs will have to order a retreat. The tribesmen may even break and flee in panic. Regardless of the direction which the PCs call for retreat, the troops will run to the temple. So no matter what you do, the slaves are going to run to the temple. If the way is blocked, they may be cut down and killed. The PCs will have to lead the way, clearing a path through the gift to allow Timbuk's people a chance to escape. It is important that not too many of Tinpook's people die in this first battle. There are several ways the DM can ensure this. Yeah, rail the roadie, rail the roadie. Okay, so now they, the Gith come to follow you to the temple. And then they start trying to smoke you out, building fires. And so now they will let you search the temple and find the catacombs. Where you're looking for some some artifact that might help you with this battle. And there's puzzle rooms and traps and stuff. Until you find, whoa, there's an artifact. Maybe this will help me. There's a nice picture of the temple too. And yes, the artifact will help you. It's a, it's a pretty cool artifact with some powers. Uh, it's one of my complaints about... D&D is there are too many plus one swords and not enough one ring of power Excalibur and this artifact is something that's amazing like a magical device ought to be. So you can use this to fight off the gift. Yay, we're saved. And so you have to build a few little pyres and Travel across the desert. To fight the gift some more. And the you know the gifts are psionic, so the, they start using their psionics against you. And even illusions. And so finally you make it to a mine camp that the Gith have taken over and you have some problem with there's some troops from the nearby city state of Nibane so you have to negotiate or fight them in order to be able to go down into the mine so it's, yeah so it's it's an old iron mine it's obvious that this mine in the past was considered not rich enough to work, but now that iron is worth 10 times what it used to be, it is worth mining out. And there's some penalties because of the size of the thing for trying to fight in this in the mine things. Now, dwarves are minus one to hit if they have to swing to attack. Half giants or minus two weapons have to be swung and have a minus three dexterity penalty. All others are minus two. The weapons must be slung. And minus one on the decks. So, so, in this gigantic tunnel, which you can easily move around with, your dexterity is hampered by those enclosed tight spaces. So, here's a map of one section of the tunnel and as you can see there are some side passages but there's only one way to go and you have some encounters along the way and then you come to another section with there's some side passages but there's only one way to go through here and there's some monsters attacking there's encounters along the way and then you come to another gith nest. And it's it's got some twists and turns. There's some places where you can run in a circle. And there's this thing called the stone seal, which is smooth on one side, so it can't be open from one side. You have to go to the other side. And if you follow that tunnel, it leads to some more caves. 
and a city, an underground city, which... I can only add to your library if you have an Apple Music subscription. Okay. And so, you come to a city. What's in there? We'll have to read the next book. 